Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. My dear students, welcome to this lab. In this lab, we are going to uh, simulate and uh, try to troubleshoot a simple network. Uh, as you uh, remember, we have explained that there are two types of networks depend on the on uh, or uh, according to the connection to the configuration of the network we have two types peer-to-peer -peer networks and client server networks uh, in this lab we are going to create uh, client server networks in which uh, there will be uh, one server and th three clients plus one intermediate device which is uh, a switch to connect the server with the clients okay uh, the switch uh, as we explained in the lecture uh, is just like a hub but it is more smart than hub because it's when it's uh, when it receives a signal from the source it passes this signal only to the destination uh, instead of uh, copy uh, or paste it on the on the all ports so all the computers will uh, receive the signal uh, this is what is done in uh, or by using the hub uh, the switch is more smart in this uh, if we compare it uh, we can say it is more smart than the hub because it passes only uh, it is pa it passes the signal only to the server only to the destination actually not the server okay uh, now uh, the service that we are going to install on this server is DHCP server DHCP uh, server or DHCP services uh, you should you should remember what is DHCP DHCP is a dynamic host configuration protocol uh, this protocol is used to uh, assign IP addresses uh, automatically to the clients so the client uh, any client I mean any client connected to this network will request information uh, about the IP address from the server from this server and the server will provide the client uh, with the uh, information uh, about the IP address that uh, will be assigned to this uh, client okay now let us start we are going to use a Cisco packet tracer software which is a free software you can download it from the internet and install it and, and, and install it easily in your uh, PC uh, but uh, be sure that uh, the uh, the copy or, or the version of the software is a student version because uh, student version only is the uh, free version you can download it from the internet okay here we have the uh, tools that uh, uh, can be you know uh, uh, dragged and dropped uh, in the stage and can be configured so uh, this is the categories and this is the tool the tools inside the categories now we are in the routers and we have these all these routers uh, the, uh, I can you know use the for example end devices this is this is the categories and uh, this is the category called uh, end devices and we have these all these options for the end devices and also uh, I have uh, for example here the connection I have uh, this is uh, 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 we can, you can say it is you know uh, auto uh, automatic connection type 
and here we have uh, console and uh, Cooper uh, and uh, this is Cooper another type of Cooper and we have here uh, coaxial you remember these types okay and we have other uh, uh, you know other types of connections but let us start by using the server so I will click on the end device then I will use the uh, this generic server as a server so drag it and drop it here okay keep the name as it is server 0 okay now I will use a switch as a intermediate devices so I'm going to uh, create the network devices but not routers here the uh, switches this one no yes this is switch I'm going to use it uh, but let me check uh, according to the lab we are go we need to install 2960-24 ports so we need to install this one yes this is the switch that we are going to install it here okay this is the switch and we have three clients as shown here we have three clients so go to end device and click this is client number one client number two and client number three okay pc0 pc1 and pc2 okay now i'm going to connect this devices using the cables so uh, just click on the connections type uh, category and you will see the uh, connection types or cable types طبعا هنا ممكن نستخدم automatic automatic connection type يعني بمجرد ان اضغط عليه وبعدين اربط فهو راح يختار automatic connection type but I'm going to use the uh, Cooper, this one, Cooper straight cable, okay? So click on Cooper straight cable and uh, uh, connect the server with the switch. كيف بمجرد أن تسوي كليك عليه راح يطلع لك options اللي هو free. The ports, the free, the you can use uh, to connect the cables. So click on it. Then click on the switch. Of as you uh, see, we have uh, 24 ports, 24 ports available on this switch. Meaning that this switch can connect to 24 devices. The server always is connected to port uh, number one or port number 24 <coughs> فقط, uh, server clients so you can connect it in uh, either port one or port 24 okay so i'm going to connect it on port one Good. Then again, port two, little PC, Ethernet. Port three, little PC one, Ethernet. And port four, little PC two, على Ethernet. Okay. Uh, علي أن أنتظر لغاية ما أشوف أن uh, هذه الألوان أو هذه الإنديكاتورز صارت جرين من تصير جرين معناها السيميليشن ها 
has uh, you know started وكل شيء عندي تمام okay هذا uh, we have finished the connection task we connected the network uh, by using the cables so in the next task we are going to uh, configure the uh, server and the clients the server will be a DHCP server and the clients will take the IP address automatically from the server so see you in the next lab